I, I call the member for Wagga Wagga. Mr Speaker. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr Speaker. It is with pride and hope that I present this petition to the New South Wales Parliament that calls on the government to address the unfair situation. That means that Wagga Wagga, the Riverina Cancer Centre, is the only New South Wales regional radiotherapy centre where patients seeking their life-saving pain-relieving cancer treatment have to meet out-of-pocket costs. A situation that means the most vulnerable in our community, when they are at their most vulnerable, have to deal with the added stress of finding money for their treatment. Mr Speaker, 12,000 signatures from our region say that this is unfair and we are calling for it to be fixed. And let me start with the history, Mr Speaker. The Riverina Cancer Care Centre was established 20 years ago. It was built with $6 million raised directly from the community, a stunning achievement. The community arranged for the centre to be run by a private provider. There was no public provider available at the time, but that meant that an out-of-pocket cost was charged. Now, at the time, I know the community wasn't happy. They'd raised all the funds for the building, but it was generally accepted, uh, and this is my view, that people were so relieved to not have to travel to Sydney and spend weeks fighting cancer away from their families, that they saw the enormous benefit to the community. And I personally remember the primitive cancer treatment facilities in our region and the torment that people suffered having to travel to Sydney for long periods of radiotherapy treatment without their family and their loved ones to support them. And this facility changed that. And in a real way, the efforts of the people of the Riverina led the way for the state. The establishment of the centre in Wagga Wagga confirmed how important it was for people to get treatment close to home. Uh, otherwise, people would often choose not to get the treatment that they needed. And now we have a range of facilities in regional New South Wales run by the state government, uh, and, and these facilities do not have out-of-pocket costs, and that is great. And I implore, applaud the investment by the government in this. And I note now that we actually have the facility in Griffith where there's a private provider and there won't be out-of-pocket costs. But sadly, 20 years on, people attending the Wagga Wagga Centre are still paying out-of-pocket costs. And in this day and age, it's just not acceptable. The community should not be punished for funding their own cancer centre 20 years ago, and that's what it feels like. It's meant that our communities had to support patients, and I want to acknowledge the work of Can Assist, and there are members here from Can Assist in the gallery. Their volunteers have basically picked up the slack to help people fund their treatment. And I also want to acknowledge Amy Glynn, a lady who is not here today, but is, I'm sure, watching online. Uh, Amy told the ABC that she had to pay $5,000 for an initial consultation for her non-Hodgkin lymphoma and then paid an additional $1,300 a week during her treatment. She acknowledges she was one of the lucky ones who could afford these costs. And she obviously there were rebates through private health insurance and Medicare, but those upfront payments are a hefty financial burden that many have to overcome that scare people, especially people who don't have the means. And there's still a gap to cover at the end of it. And furthermore, we may see more private-public partnerships with the Commonwealth providing some infrastructure funds uh, and then having a private provider come in. But I can guarantee you there will be out-of-pocket costs when those get set up, and the state government needs to come in and address that. Now, I understand how complicated it is, relationships between state and Commonwealth, and I get the rules that the bureaucrats put in place. But at the end of the day, in rural regions, those rules often don't make sense. And I would like to see the Commonwealth state work together to make sure that whether Commonwealth do fund infrastructure, the state is supported to meet out-of-pocket costs in a reasonable way. Mr Speaker, radiotherapy can be a life-saving treatment. It can relieve severe pain. It can prolong life. Radiotherapy is something we would all expect was there for our loved ones. We would all expect it to be as close as possible to where they live so that they can go through that treatment with the support of their families. And we would also expect that people had access to that without financial strain. This petition of more than 12,000 signatures, Mr Speaker, calls on the government to intervene and resolve this funding anomaly and regional health inequity. 
and I commend the motion to take, no, no, take note of this petition to the House, Mr. Speaker. The question is that the House take note of a petition. I call the